Amy Medford and Jack Medford <laughs> with Medford Knife and Tool. Here we are today. We are highlighting knives headed to Syracuse, New York. Ed at Freight Unlock. They are at 467 Burnett Avenue. You can go there and get a pocket knife and get a wrench and screws and what else? Um, a toolbox. Knives. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, Freight Unlock. Uh, they're and I think they're on eBay as well. But anyway, you can reach them at 315-472-6988. Ed is our rep there. And let's see what we have headed there. I'm going to test Jack a little bit and see if he knows what we have on the table. All right, Jack. Dun, dun, dun. Um, What's this? A Praetorian Slim Flipper. Close. All right, so this is a Praetorian Swift Frame Lock. It looks like the Praetorian Swift Auto, but it does not have the uh, deploy button and it doesn't have the slide. It's aluminum on the handle only and titanium on the spring. And it's the titanium spring that allows the frame to lock the knife in and that's where the frame lock comes from. Uh, this knife is a very, very user-friendly knife for someone with smaller hands or is interested in having a more lightweight, smaller everyday carry knife. Black treated aluminum handle, flamed hardware is beautiful against it. S35 PVD drop point with the PVD spring and flamed hard, uh, flame clip as well. Jack? Um, Marauder. Marauder, midi Marauder. So the mid sized Marauder, not the slim though. The blade is thicker. The handle blade and spring are all the same thickness. This is our stained glass sculpting. It really is like a super huge oversized peaks and valleys, but we like to call it stained glass. It's got a brushed and flame finish on the handle, and the spring is a brushed violet to bronze fade. No heat on the handle, or on the spring, I'm sorry. We don't want to heat up the metal and cause any malfunctioning of the titanium. A beautiful brushed and bronze clip, uh, brushed and flamed clip. All right, third knife in on the table, Jack. Praetorian tie. Praetorian T. What's the difference? Thickness. The thickness. Yeah, and again, if you see it laying down, it would look a whole lot like the tie. You'll notice that the, uh, if you're curious about this and you're starting to get to understand our knives, whether it's in your hand or in a picture, the tie will have much deeper grooves, understandable because the handles will be much thicker and they can get down deeper. So this is a Praetorian T. It has a 3V PVD Tanto blade, PVD titanium hardware and breaker, and it has a Grecian theme here. I love that, you know, it's a Spartan theme, is what it is. Uh, PVD clip, hardware, and breaker. And I hate to say it, but I'm somewhat ignorant as to the significance of this, but it is Spartan originated. And I know Jason Langston, our uh, engraving specialist, came up with that. And I think it looks beautiful on the knife. All right, moving down, we have one of our new thorns originally when this knife was available on the website it was without handles um, and we decided that the, when the uh, udt came out to go back and redesign the thorn so that it has handles it's got a little bit of a thicker grip it adds some absolutely intrinsic value to it not only is the uh, sheath have a paracord sliding lanyard for around the neck but there's a paracord wrap on here too always in case you know if you want to loop it around your fingers so that you don't lose it while you're using it next on the table praetorian neck knife this is s35 i love the lines on this i love the cutouts it is s35 it comes tumbled or pvd coated and it also does come with a kydex neck sheath it has the adjustable lanyard here and last on the table these have been just coveted by our knife aficionados. It has the dragon on the front side, the tiger on the opposing side. That's a classic Asian theme, the struggle between the dragon and the tiger. And then it has the uh, logo and the three for CPM 3V stamped on the spine of the blade. And this is... A Waki S? Waki, yeah, Wakasashi short. Yeah. It has, uh, so Waki S is correct has a very nice soft suede wrap in a katana style with the eel skin underneath. And it has a raw blade. And this little sheath here is just a beautiful little accompaniment to it. They are handmade in Idaho. 
It's got the M stamp on it. It's a really nice co-op we have with the company that makes those. So those are the knives headed out to Ed at Freight Unlock in Syracuse, New York. Check them out if you have the chance. They have a stock of other knives, I'm sure, available. So give them a call, give them a holler, see if you can walk in and have a nice day in your weekend, a nice break from staying at home uh, and all of the things that we have to do to make sure we're all safe out there. My boy Jack, Roxanne is filming. This is the added benefit to having them not be in school. We love having them around. Give me a kiss, love you. Love you, love you Roxanne. You guys keep watching the videos. Until the next time, we're out.